Hello everybody, I'm <clears throat> getting ready to do lesson 11.8 part 2 of geometry math today. If you need materials for this course, email me here and I'll get those out to you. 11.8 rotations. We got 32 points of on your class worksheet today and you have zero points to go in your notebook. Teachers will start with this bell work today. Uh, similar triangles, determine whether the triangles are similar. If they are, write a similarity statement, students, for this. And then a football team won 10 games and lost 6. Find the ratio of losses to number of games. Teachers, give your students about 5 minutes. Okay, welcome back for the solution of today's uh, bell work. Yes. They are similar by side angle side similarity theorem. Uh, triangle PQR is similar to triangle STU because of the similarity theorem here. The sides are uh, in proportion. And then losses to number of games. The losses of num losses to two is a is a word for a fraction bar or some kind of, of ratio sign like a full colon and in this case it's 6 to 10 plus 6 the football team won 10 lost 6 total of 16 games 6 to 16 is 3 to 8 is your loss to number of games rate <clears throat> okay getting into our next example here part 2 of this lesson rotations Rotate triangle FGH 50 degrees counterclockwise about the point C. So we need to rotate this 50 degrees. Okay, to find the image of point F here, where do we put that? What we need to do is to draw a line segment CF and then draw a 50 degree angle. So first we connect uh, F to C here like this. And then this is going to be a 50 degree angle here. And then this will be F prime here, the same length here. And this is the same length as this segment is here. So here's F prime. Find F prime so that CF equals CF prime. So there it is there. CF equals CF uh, prime. Then what do we do next? find the image of G. Here's our G here. So to find that, draw CG. So we're going to draw CG here. And then draw a 50 degree angle here, 50 degrees. And then measure this. It has to equal that. So um, <clears throat> G prime. So find G prime so that CG equals CG prime. So here it is here. And for H, to find the image point of H, we have, a, here's our existing partial uh, projection here. So we need to draw CH and then draw a 50 degree angle. So CH is all the way from H to C like this. And then, then draw a 50 degree angle here out here, which would be H prime would be out here. And then H prime will be so that CH equals CH prime. Then draw triangle F prime, G prime, H prime. So here is your, your rotation here of this triangle to this triangle. 50 degree rotation. Okay, and to where I got to practice here. Slide number 15. Trace the polygon and point P on a paper. So if they want you to do that on a piece of paper, you can do that. But I want you to put your answers here, students, on on this answer sheet. This is your answer sheet. Use a straight edge and protractor to rotate the polygon clockwise the number of given degrees about P. So here is our uh, uh, point P here, 150 degrees from point P. Two points up here because I'm going to show you how to do it. And then this is your independent practice down here, students. So let's do number three here. What do we do? 150 degree rotation 
from point P and this is what it would look like here this is what you should be looking like here when you rotate a prime B prime and C prime again you measure and then we go 150 degrees so A prime from here would be actually it would be over here 150 degrees and then B prime we measure B to P and then measure around 150 degrees that would be where it would be and then same thing here for C to P and then measure 150 degrees and you end up up here so you got to have a protractor to do this for sure students and then do the same thing down here with this uh, looks like a trapezoid uh, do a 60 degree rotation here and we're using P here again down here oh well I gave it to you so here's your here's what your uh, rotation should look like when you use P here as your rotational point for X Y W and Z so again measure here and then go a hundred a rather a 60 degree rotation like that for X which would be here and then well, I'm not going to tell you how to do it so attempt that students on your own okay into our next example here rotations in the coordinate plane so sketch the quadrilateral with vertices of uh, a which is here to negative 2 and then B is 4 ne uh, 1 C would be 5 1 and then down here is D which it looks like it's 5 negative 1 so that would be that okay so we, we got this sketch you can do that here students I recommend that you do it here on this grid sketch the original and then D is 5 negative 1 which is this point here and then rotate it 90 degrees. So how would we do that to get this projection here? Okay, how would we do that? <clears throat> how will we get to here to here? Plot the points as shown in blue. So your points are here. Plot that over here. Use a protractor and a ruler to find the rotated vertices. So your um, this is coming out of the origin here so this is a 90 degree rotation that originates in your origin so the coordinates of the vertices of the image are a prime would be 2 uh, 2 for a 2 2 and we go from 2 uh, negative 2 so we're probably going to just change our a uh, or rather our y coordinates here will go negative and then for B prime would be B prime here B is uh, what 4 1 so it'd be negative 1 4 for B prime negative 1 4 negative 1 4 and then C prime be negative 1 5 and we're going from 1 5 and we're, we're going on a negative on our on our uh, X coordinate here like for a prime a is negative 2 2 so we, we just turn our x coordinate negative and then our y coordinate see this would be 2 negative 2 they're both are changing here so and then b prime would be negative 1 4 this is 4 negative 1 so we're measuring we're measuring into our we're measuring into our origin here and then going 90 degrees is what we're doing <clears throat> and then, so that's why you need a protractor and a ruler to do these projections and then from C we're measuring into here and then doing a 90 degree rotation and then when you measure it out you're up here and then for D again we're measuring in to our origin and then doing a 90 degree rotation from that which is over here and then that measures up here so D prime be 1 and then 5 okay sketch the triangle of vertices here we're going into our guide of practice 0 0 3 0 then 3 4 a B C 9 and uh, rotate uh, triangle ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise so we're going to be going this way 
about the origin. So we're going to measure into the origin. Name the coordinates of the new vertices, A prime, B prime, and C prime. And then find a pattern here. Use the given information to rotate the figure about the origin. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the images. So um, it doesn't really tell us here. Use the given information to rotate the figure about the origin. So I would do a 90 here, students. Do a 90 degree rotation here for number 6. Oh, here it is. Here's your number 80. I'm sorry. So you, got, you have a 180 degree rotation of this triangle here. And then this is a 90 degree. So there we go. Thank you. So those are our rotations. OK, get back up here to our guided practice. Uh, when we rotate around the origin, here is our original here. And then we, when we rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, we end up with this triangle here. So that would be a rotation here of a 90 degree rotation of this triangle here. This looks like it's 4, 4 for C. And then when we rotate at 90, we get negative 4. And then 3 is what we get here. This is a hypotenuse here. So this is a hypotenuse. This is no doubt is a 90 degree a right triangle here. So this is why we end up out here for C prime. And then B prime, when you rotate it in, we're three out. And then when you rotate this 90 degrees, you come up like this. So you're going up in this direction on the Y axis for B prime. And then A prime, <clears throat> we're right on it. So we just rotate 90 degrees here. And then that coincides with your hypotenuse here coming from C prime to the origin. And then down here, you got a 100 degree rotation here. Do I provide a solution? I do, actually. So here is your solution for number six. We started down here, and then when we rotate 180 up, our D will stay where it is, and then our X will rotate up here 180 degrees which is a straight line here. And then our Z, this is a counterclockwise rotation. And then our Z will rotate like this here. So instead of it being, uh, I didn't, you have to re measure that. Although, what does it say here Z? It says 3, negative 4. So this is, but on this grid, you couldn't tell. So you would have to measure that with a ruler and then uh, move it over here 180 degrees and then measure it up from the origin at a 180 degree angle from there. Same thing here from X to X prime. It rotates up uh, 180 degrees.